Since the beginning of the year, jihadist attacks and criminal gangs have multiplied near the border between Mali and Niger. Three months ago, Maimouna fled her raided village in the Mali's Menaka region. I used to hear about villages being attacked, about thieves killing people and stealing their cattle. But this time it was us. I had to flee with my two kids, but without my husband. Some refugees are worried by European troops' exit from their country. These troops had offered substantial support to the Malian military. I was used to seeing the white soldiers with the Malian soldiers. They need to stay to protect us. Out of the camps, and despite their losses, some refugees are trying to rebuild communities, like here in Niamey. Zaku Karimu used to be the chief of a Malian village near the border. The people I fled with, they still view me as their chief. But around here, and in Niemi, we do not even feel considered. Most of the Malian refugees have had to travel through Tilaberi, which is one of Niger's most dangerous regions. They just left the most dangerous area, but in Walam there can be an attack. Attacks can occur in every city in Niger. Actually, in every city of all three countries, in Burkina Faso and in Mali, the situation there is the same. According to the UN Refugee Agency, at least 60,000 people who have fled the extremist threat in the north of Mali now live in Niger.